so friends today we'll discuss about uh, oops principles yesterday we have seen access modifiers everything and properties how to write the properties today we'll see oops principles what are oops principles are number one is encapsulation and second one is abstraction Next one is inheritance. We'll see one by one what is this. Number four is polymorphism. Okay, these are the OOPS principles. So we'll see what is encapsulation. Encapsulation. Encapsulation is nothing but wrapping the states and behaviors into a single unit. it is called as encapsulation that means wrapping all the class and class members into into uh, wrapping all the class and class members it is called as encapsulation okay it's nothing but wrapping all the class and class members is called as encapsulation okay and uh, it's nothing it's also called as binding variables and methods class and class members class members are nothing but variables and methods also wrapping variables and methods can also be called as encapsulation okay this is called as encapsulation and next is abstraction is nothing but to provide pro protection to the class and class members it's nothing but encapsulation is nothing but giving protection to the class and class members we wrap the members the, so the, the members are nothing but variables and methods inside the class okay next is abstraction what is abstraction is hiding the unwanted data is called as abstraction we do not want to display the <coughs> unwanted data to the user so hiding the unwanted data is called as abstraction there are two types of abstractions one is data abstraction and second is method abstraction we'll see one by one with examples also so data abstraction what is meant by data abstraction means hiding the unwanted data is nothing but data abstraction so this is nothing but hiding unwanted data is called as data abstraction and method abstraction let us see what method abstraction is hiding unwanted methods is called as method abstraction here it is called as hiding unwanted methods is called as a method abstraction and next comes inheritance we'll see what is inheritance also first of all we'll see what is data abstraction method abstraction with a with the help of an example so hiding the unwanted data is nothing but called as abstraction so we'll see that with an example let us take a project we're dealing with oops so let us take a project file new project is a console application give a name for that i'll give it as oops principles okay so i'll give it as oops principles fine click on okay i have selected a console application click on okay now a new project is created down creating oops principles project it will create a new project for you there we'll write an example for data abstraction so what is data abstraction means hiding the unwanted data to the user is called as data abstraction this is nothing to provide the security for a class and its class members class members are what are the class members variables methods everything are class members okay and encapsulation is nothing but wrapping all the class and class members into a one into a single unit is called as encapsulation okay so this is a new one we got this is the new one new new project okay just go to the solution explorer view solution explorer okay okay fine now let's see an example let's take a class inside our namespace inside our project let's take a class class is a user different class employee fine 
I am creating a class. What is the class? I am taking an integer. E number, string, E name, and string designation and double E cell. And I have taken four properties here. Okay. That is int E number. Sorry, four variables int E number, string E name, string designation, and double E cell. Now I will take a property internal or public employee. Employees my class name. Okay. I am taking a constructor integer e number comma string these are the parameters e name comma string designation comma double e cell fine these are my parameters now I will pass to the variables the values e number is equal to e number fine this dot e name is equal to e name fine this dot designation is equal to designation fine and this dot e cell is equal to e cell so i'm passing the parameter values to the variable values okay now i'll take a method I have passed the I have passed the values in the constructor. I am passing the values to the instance variables in the constructor. Okay. Now I am taking a my own method public void display. I want to print all the values. Console dot right line. Enter employee number. Concatenate it. Plus C number. Console dot right line. Enter employee name. Plus E name. Fine. Next is designation. Next is salary, employee salary. It's E cell. Fine. This is my method display. Now I'll give you another method for hike. Hiking the employee salary. Public void hike. This is 